guys so um last video so i just want to get right into this so um last video deku fought the nameless character who has the body of shigaraki and stuff like that and not the body of shigaraki he had the muscle mass stuff like that yeah and when deku did his uh -huh move he went into a coma yeah, so that's all I want to say. No, I want to say something else. So, there's a big chance of some what is getting discontinued. Like, what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Beerus that might get discontinued? What if Naruto has the 12 tails? That's, that, that has a huge possibility of getting discontinued because, like, I'm not getting as much views on it anymore. Um, yeah, and, and I haven't got, and like, like I said, um, with Naruto, what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Beerus, I said that I'd be, um, making videos about, videos about that each two subscribers, and we're stuck on nine, so unless I get two more subscribers, that's definitely gonna get discontinued, so let's get right into this. <laughs> So if you guys can do me a favor, can you, you can you like, share, subscribe? If you see this on, if you see this on um on YouTube while you're scrolling, um, you um click the video please, and like, subscribe, and share to some of your friends, to some of your wee friends. Thank you. That will mean a lot to me. So let's get right into the video. At as I said, when Naruto did, uh, not Naruto, Deku did his move, he, um, he, um, he went into a coma. So, let's go into while he's in the hospital bed. Oopsie. His, his hospital bed, his second home. <laughs> so, so Deku is having a dream where, like, where, like, he's just laying down in an all black, in an all black wasteland, in an all black, um, an all black water and he's just floating and he sees a f and he and he sees a little and he sees a um figure that looks like his hero costume and he tries to start swimming to there so all my and some cops and hawks are talking to um to people and recovery girl says he's pro he's in a coma so I'm going to get into that He's he's in a coma, a really bad one. It seems like he exceed, exceeded the length of his power so so greatly that um that his ring couldn't take. Hawks is surprised because I, Hawks is very surprised because he never thought um someone as muscular. And our strongest Deku will be a quirk or overexert him like that. So while Deku's in this coma, his hair is turning black a little. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. So, so, De so Deku, not Deku, um, did I ever say Bakugo? No. Um, let's go to, um, Baku. No, 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 I'm so sorry. I did not have a script again. Last time I had a script and it was good. So I'm finna, no, no. So I'm finna go to Hawk's perspective. Hawk's is talking to, um, talking to, um, I forgot her name. Um, um. Yeah, Hawks is talking to um, what's her name? And, she, and she's tell and he's telling her that they found um, um, a kid just about um, your age, and like obviously that kid is Shinzo. Yeah, 
Yeah, bear with me here. Bear with me. So. So, they go to, um, so, I'm just going to call her Rumi because I, I'm having problems remembering it. So, she goes to, um. So she goes to Shinzo, and Shinzo is pretty distant. He's like sleeping in the corner. So Rumi doesn't really mess with him because you know he she sees that he's kind of distant and stuff like that. So let's do a time skip a few months. Shinzo, Shinzo isn't really that um distant anymore. He's heard good things about Deku and stuff, and um, and Deku's getting closer and closer to the um, he, into that um, to his hero suit, to him and stuff, and like he still has a little bit of um green and white in his hair, but it's mostly black. So Recovery Girl is monitoring Deku and she starts so saying that his heart rate is going up because he's almost to the um to the figure. So as I said, I said the time skip was a very long time skip, like a ten month time skip. You guys know what I'm what know what I'm doing now, or don't you? <coughs> Oof. Um, so Deku's eyes start to, um, flicker and stuff like that. You guys know when you're sleeping, pretending to sleep, and you blink, and you, and you blink, and your eyes do that, like vibrate and stuff like that, yeah. And then Deku's eyes, like, you know how when anime characters wake up from a nightmare, and their eyes just widen and stuff like that, widened, yeah. He wakes up and he's just like breathing really hard. Recovery said, "Girl says, huh, you're finally up." Deku's um arms, arms, leg, and mouth. So you know when I said he got scraped? No, it wasn't scraped. Like a whole part of his leg was gone. Like it was gone. And Deku asks what Deku asks what happened, but then before he can um finish his sentence, he um gets into a flashback. Let's see if I still have the picture because I was deleting pictures crazy, like crazy. No, no, I don't have it. And what was the picture I was just on? Now, Jesus Christ, forgot. Um. Let's go, go, go to this picture. Deku is on. No, no, I think it was the picture. No, 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 it was this one. Yeah. Deku is. Deku gets out of his flashback and he says, So that's what happened. He um, asked Recovery Girl why is he just now having problems with his quirk. Recovery girl says, since you use so, so much of that, um, so much of your quirk at one part of your body, that your arm could couldn't take it, and it shattered completely. Over the ten months, um, over the ten months you were in a coma, your arm has been repairing slightly, but you do have a really, really, really bad scar on it. So you guys know. How Kaneki twisted up his leg. He has, Deku has like twist marks on his arm. Deku looks at his arm, at the big old bandage, and it's bloody. And Recovery Girl says, you should recoup. I'm going to go tell Hawks and Rumi what, about what happened. So Recovery Girl leaves, and Deku... 
looking at himself surprised. Because he's never had, ever had a problem with the squirks before. Not even when he was a little kid. So, so, Rumi come, Rumi, Shinzo, and Hawks come busting through the door. Or Rumi comes busting through the door. Hawks is a little calm. And Shinzo is a little, like, you know, Shinzo. Shinzo is is like a uh, a fanboy because you know how not like a simp no or not like a not like a um all my fanboy like um crimson riot fanboy like you know how um uh, karashima is a fan of crimson riot yeah like that or like how that dude was a fanboy of endeavor but yeah, like that a little. So, Rumi hugs Deku. Um, Hawks asks, "How how's he doing?" So let's get back into sync. Yeah. How you doing? That Hawks is. Oh God, this is gonna be confusing for me and you guys. Jesus. Deku. Deku says, I'm doing all right, but I'm I'm just a little shaken up. I've never, ever, 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 ever had problems with my quirks. It's always been a smooth, smooth road. Um, Shinzo says, hi. I'm, I'm Shinzo. Deku says, well, it's nice to meet you. Were you one of those um prisoners in that facility that that oh my accidentally blew up? Pistol so says, yeah, actually. Let's go to a better picture. Yeah, this will be good. Yeah. So Shinzo Shinzo like a I'm a Kichi. I'm not Makichi, like he's pretty distant, but yeah. Recovery girl come comes back in, back in and she says, Alright, Deku. I I mean, alright, Izuku. I think I think it's time to take off those bandages. So Recovery Girl takes off the bandages and she, they see the scar on Deku's right arm. Cause that's obviously the arm to hit. Cause like I'm right-handed. A lot of most people are right-handed. And hold up, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see the scar, and everybody's just real surprised. And Deku, and Deku is more shook. Deku doesn't really have any giant scars on him. Shinzo says, "Wow, that's ginormous." So let's do a time skip to when. Shinzo is um get he's not that distant and Deku is out of um is out of reek coops and stuff. So let's get to the Shinzo asking if he can be a vigilant or hero too. Shinzo walks up to um Deku. Deku! What the heck? Why would I say Deku? Deku um walks up to Deku and he says I'm just gonna um ask you this right now. Can I be a hero with you? Deku Deku's looking out looking outside of his window and he says, Sure, I don't know why not. Do you have any combat experience at all? Kenzo says, Yeah. 
that place was a facility that had a lot of change to it. And I was one of the main people. And I was, and, and in each chain, there's one, there's one, um, there's one person. There's only one person because all of us have, so, all of us are really strong. Well, I'm, I'm the lowest because I don't really have that much combat experience. But my quirk is really powerful. De Deku asks, asks a few questions. One of them being, "What's your quirk?" and and asking, "Who are the people in those um in those um factories and all of them?" So um. Cork is called brainwashing, and there's um and and um I only know two people in a in those um uh, in in fact in those factories. Deku asks if he can um explain his quirk and stuff like that. Then he asks the names and quirks of the um of the people at the faction at the factories and stuff. And the facilities. And it all explains his quirk and all that. This is my, or my favorite favorite part on the where the um to, not I was trying to say Toko Yami. Um this is when um not Yakuza art. Um, this is when, um, what am I going to call this character? K Kodaki art starts. Shinzo starts with Kodaki, which re represents me. Definitely not my real name. I live in America, that's no one near my name. My name does not start with the K. My name starts with the J. So, um, Shinzo says one one of the, um one of their names is Kodaki, and he's the strongest out of them. All all of the um what's the names? All of, all the facilities because Eerie can't control it and stuff like that. So, if you guys didn't know, I really like Kangadora, so bear with me here. I might do a what if about this or an explanation about this. Um, so that's what part three is probably going to be an explanation out of this AU and stuff. Um, his, his quirk is called Titanus, and I think he has the um, power of a Titan. Um, a scientist comes in and he says, says, do you say Titan? So, um, so the doctor says, explains about the Titans, Godzilla, and Kong, and Ghidorah, and Mothra, and Rodan, and everybody, and all the kaiju and stuff like that. Deku's pretty intrigued, and he decides that when Shinzo's all trained, we should probably, we should probably, um, go there and stuff. Shinzo is not, is not for this idea at all because he, um, because he's heard of rumors about how strong he is. Shinzo says, that's a terrible idea. He's a, he's a really strong. The doctor asks what Titan he has and, and, um, Shinzo says Ghidorah. I'm just learning the name now. I knew it started with the G, but now that you say Ghidorah, I think it might be Ghidorah Godzilla. It's gonna be Ghidorah, because Ghidorah is my favorite. So the doctor says there's a few types of Ghidorahs. The one, the ones that are living are King Ghidorah, uh, Moon Dora, Lunar Ghidorah, and Eclipse Ghidorah. Um, 
Shinzo says, I think he has a clips good or because I've heard rumors and seen, um, I've heard rumors and seen, and I've seen a glimpse of him before. We were, um, we were, um, we were in the text and first testing facility and I saw the other person there too. She, it was a girl and she was around six years old. So yeah, that's, that's obviously eerie. Eerie. So, yeah. So this is the beginning of the, um, already Kodaki arc. So, um, so, Shinzo's getting trained in Muay Thai, like, Muay Thai, Karate, Boxing, Stealth, and I'm finna go get a picture of his, um, visual suit real quick. So, this is, um, Shinzo's visual suit. So, Shinzo has metal gloves that can, um, make sound waves, and, the um... And his mask is one big speaker, like present mics. And um, he can also um grapple on the people, so so they can't cover their ears and stuff like that. And when he um, when he can like hit the ground with his gloves, making a big sound, sound and crushing the ground and stuff like that. I got a lot of pictures. Um, there. So, so, R Rumi is questioning this plan, too, because the plan is, so, the plan is they go to the facility, they go to the facility, and it's almost the same plan as the Shinso art, as the Shinso one. Rumi says, I don't think this plan is a good idea because it's almost the same same plan as the um plan that you made made the first time and um the first time and we all know what happened then. They all that Rumi looks at um his arm. Deku says, You're right. I think we should come up with a better plan. So this plan is is like a raid. So they're getting tons of heroes and um and like the main heroes, Hawks, Shinzo, um, Rumi, Deku are gonna be Hawks and Hawks is gonna be carrying Shin Shinzo up in the up in the air. Up in the air. Um, Rumi is gonna be at the side in the building. Um, not Endeavor. I wanted to say Endeavor. Um, not Black King. I want. Hold on. Hold on. Who is it? Um, nineteen or like that zero gravity hero is gonna be at the um, side at the side with Rumi. Present Mike is gonna be gonna be on the roof. Um, and some and some people from UA such as Bakugo, Uraka, and Kirishima are gonna be in the at the um front. So so Deku so Deku so Deku tries to go for more of a quiet approach and he uses thirty percent of his power and he and he um oh also he's wearing his mask. He's wearing his mask, so and he dash and he dashes to the to um to like the third floor and he almost teleports. Deku. Um, Deku see oddly sees no no one and he's um try, looking looking and guess what he sees that um that court. That quirk, um, that quirk serum stuff, whatever it is. And Deku, and Deku takes a three, um, three of those things, wondering what they do. 
De Deku then finds a few guys and he take and he take and he takes them out really quietly. Uh, so Deku Deku bounces around the walls. Um and his green little orb not like not his like his lightning. Like like you know how Gran Torino has that air pressure or stuff like that. <laughs> and like and like you know how Goku be flying with his aura and stuff. You like imagine that, but you can't. You know, like it's not transparent. And it's thick and it's fast and stuff like that. And it's all green. So he bounces around the walls, takes out the first guy, takes out the second guy, takes down the third guy, takes it takes down the fourth guy. He takes down the first guy with the punch. The next guy with the um elbow. Third guy with the um headbutt, and then and the last guy with the kick to the face. So um, Deku, Deku runs to um the to the biggest door. It has forty um four, 40 feet of um iron in it, and they, and um and he just hears moaning like not 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 that type of moaning like oh why like bored moaning and he and he on um and deku says hopefully this is place so deku um so you guys know how the flash runs far back to get that punch deku does that he runs all the way back outside he um puts 40 Sixty percent power in um one of his um hands, and he dashes back into the building before anybody can say anything. Shinzo says on the con that he has that um all the main heroes having their ears. Says, "What are you doing? Are you trying to do that move?" Deku says, "Actually, no. The wall covering um can." Kenzo, I'm just gonna call him Kenzo. Call me Kenzo. The wall that Kenzo is in is seems to be 40 re 40 reinforced um iron, and he and Deku hits it, and it makes a serious dent. It goes through all of the layers, and um Kenzo can see it, like, and it's just one big arm mark. Um, Kenzo is shirtless, and he has. Um, like a like an iron line on his back to cover his wings. Like he has four of them on his back. And Deku does it again. He gets through this time. Kenzo claps his hands like so. Took you long enough. Kenzo said. Kenzo takes off his shirt and show shows him his back. Take. And ask if he can take those off. Deku takes them off one by one, and Kenzo spread spreads off his wings. So Eclipse Ghidorah has red and black on on his um. Eclipse Ghidorah has red and black. A Lunar Ghidorah is black and purple. King Ghidorah is yellow and gold, as I said, like as we all know. And Moon and um uh, Moon Dora. Who's actually canon? Canon in the monster verse um, is white and gold. She's actually canon. Look it up. Um. So. So they're both running to the entrance, but before they can go anywhere, an army of villains is on them. Kenzo spreads out his wings again, grabs Deku, and he's flying supersonic speed. Like he, like he, it's like he was studying the, the place the whole time because like there was no dead ends where he was going, and Deku found like thirty dead ends, and he's just getting everywhere, going everywhere. It's like one of those sick moments. And there's just one um guy who has his biggest um. Who's as big as King Pen this time? No, he's as big as a Nomu. Like he's a um, like there's a Nomu that they got from the League of Villains, and Deku just charges at him and splits him in half with his wings. 
Deku says, Deku uh, brushing out all the blood on him and says, You really have to do that while you were holding me? Kim though says, I actually, I, I had to. Kim though says, Well, let, let me take care of these guys since they did. Uh, since they did lock me up for a while. Um, Kenzo's throat starts to blow. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Not that Not that. Um, if you watch Godzilla King of Monsters, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it just starts blowing. And, um, and he releases it. And like it kills a few of the um guards, which making the heroes uneasy. But that doesn't kill all of them. So um he goes in and he's going whole up raiding. Like he's killing them left, right, blow, like blowing out part of their body. Like 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 imagine Ghidorah fighting the U.S. Army like that. Like, he's not stumping on them, like, without all the stumping and, um, wing slashing and stuff. He's stumping, using air pressure from his wings, slashing them with the, with his wings. Like, he's going crazy. And then, and then he does, like, a spear bomb out of his red lightning. He splashes it, um, on the ground, killing most of them. And there's still, like, four more. And he, and he, um, and he handles them with one punch. All of them like one punch of sick. If um someone can do fan art with that, I would love it. Like I have you have my permission to do it. Just don't steal my idea and don't say it was yours. Yeah. So um this makes the hero th think he's a villain because he's cracking his bones like you guys know how when you just wake up you just got to twist your back and stuff like that yeah he's doing that and all the heroes are aiming and all the um, long range heroes are aiming their quirks at him and um and dick and um Kanzo says are you kidding me i missed guards with that one that attack he gets back into a fighting position and then Dick says, Whoa, 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 whoa. These aren't the guys you're supposed to be fighting. Then Kenzo says, Then why are they aiming at me? Deku Deku face bombs and hawk and the, and hawks eighteen and when we come back. You Deku says, You just killed all those guards. And I think you killed and I think you killed the mastermind with that one attack. Um, Kenzo says, nah, nah, I didn't. There's, there's still, um, there's still gonna be a, a whole another few factories that are gonna come after me. So, don't think that this is all over. They're still gonna try to come after me. So, I'm gonna head out. Before she, before Dexter asked his question, which was if he can join, if he can join, he um flies away. So I might end it off here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end it off here, depending on how long, how long this has been going.